Hey everyone, it's Chad, and today I am taking part in the Durest of Us Ice Pick Challenge. And inside this beautifully made case by Brian over at Wooden Creations is a Duresta Ice Pick. If you don't know what a Duresta Ice Pick is, well, I can't believe you've been watching YouTube all this time. It's pretty common to see Jimmy Duresta pull out this ice pick in the middle of a video and use it for a variety of different reasons. When I first heard about the challenge, I was pretty excited. I was like, oh man, I've got, I use mine all the time. I've got all kinds of great ideas. Well, I didn't watch all of the videos that preceded mine. There was, well, of course, Brian did the first one, then he sent it to William Lutz, and then on to Tim Sway, and then Ian Robinson and Meta Spencer sent it to me. So by the time it got to me, I started thinking, oh no, what if all the great ideas have been taken? What if the ideas I've been thinking of have been taken? And I started to get worried. So I went back and I made sure that I'd watched everybody else's videos so that I wasn't just doing the same thing everyone else had done. And I will say that the five videos preceding me are extremely creative. You definitely need to go watch them. This is my entry into the Duresta Ice Pick Challenge. So in the first video that I watched, that was Brian's from Wooden Creations, that was the introduction video. His second video in this series was the one where he was actually doing his ice pick challenge. And I had already had the idea of using the ice pick to pop a balloon and of course you look at his video and he pops a balloon I was like crap there goes my idea I had to think about some other things so the next thing I thought of was well I could use it for fondue or for some other cooking purpose and then I saw Bill Lutz's video I kind of changed my mind after that let's take a look Mm, well, oh, uh, uh. who needs dental floss? Thank you, Jimmy. The dental floss ice pick. Gotta love it. Then it dawned on me. I have my own ice pick. I don't have to use the one Bill Lutz had in his mouth. You may not know this, but Jimmy puts magic in every ice pick. So then I watched Tim Sway's video and Tim did a thing. I had planned on doing something about measuring and he did a thing where he used it kind of like a gauge. So you measure the width of something and then you can take that and, and transcribe it on a piece of paper and then measure it later when you need to. I happen to know that this is about 11 inches, about 11 and a half inches, maybe 11 and a quarter, but right around 11. So you can estimate, you know, this plus a little bit is a foot. So if you wanted to measure, say this box, you could estimate that it's up to this point is about 11. It's gonna be about 13 inches long. So let's just check. 
Oh, there you go, dead on, 13 inches. So, I thought that's one way you could use it. Also, this end here is just over four inches. So, if you need to know, say, estimate something a little smaller, about four and a half, four and a quarter inches. Or this loop here could give you an idea of how wide something is. What else? Oh, so that was Tim's. Oh, you know, I was thinking while Jimmy has this on there, he was doing some testing with knurling and some other effects on this. What he might want to consider is actually putting a measurement scale on here, maybe on one of these sides, inches, on the next side, millimeters and centimeters for those that use metric. Uh, and it wouldn't be a huge ruler, but it would be useful. This also could be used as a straight edge. So if you're measuring something and you needed to draw a line with a pencil, you could do that. Just a couple of other uses to think about. I have a few other ideas, so stay with me. Alright, well I guess that pretty much sums up the tips. The last thing I need to do is put my mark on this. They sent along these stamps to stamp into the brass. I also noticed that several people have put their mark on here. We got uh, William Lutz, we got Tim Sway. I also noticed Meta Spencer put his sticker on the bottom. I happen to have a tool that I think will be perfect for this. So let's go in the other room and put my mark on the case first, and then we'll put my mark on the tool.
Look who it is. My favorite clerk. <laughs> he loved it. Oh, hey. How's everybody doing?